Today I'm going to show you how many prototypes it took to develop my Rapunzel neck gaiter. This was the neck gaiter I owned and cut a bunch of holes in and then started making marks on it to show how I wanted mine to be different. Then I had to source fabric, both the outer fabric and the inner fleece. This fleece is too crinkly. I didn't really like the feel of this one. This was super plush, but way too heavy. Finally, I found this really cool micro grid fleece that's recycled, soft, and comfortable. This version was vetoed because the outer fabric was just too thin and flimsy feeling. I'm working on an everyday version of the gator, and this fabric was vetoed because it felt far too heavy and like wearing a scuba suit. Tried the everyday gator fully lined, but I didn't like this because it's a bit heavier than what I want it to be. So this one's still in the works. This version of the everyday gator is really nice, but kind of flimsy. Once the design was finalized and the fabric was sourced, it was time to get tags. Since I'm branding the gator under two different brands, I had to get two tags, one for Pika and one for my little motorcycle gear company. And we had to design inner tags too. Last but not least, we had to design paper hang tags for both of them. Oh, and I had a lawyer do a patent application for me. So it took almost a year to go from this to this.